So I'm gonna check with Timberly real quick. Permission to connect, to do a clearing for you. Yes, what can I do for your best and highest good? We're, we tend to work in topics. I will find this when I'm doing assessments. As a collective, we're kind of working on similar things, which is why I think a lot of people develop the same symptoms all at once across the globe, whether you've had contact with them or not. There's these patterns. And so your body is also telling me individuation from toxicity. You need to separate from toxicity in your life. Why? Or what is it a root cause of why you're being magnetized to that? Hidden agenda energy placed by entities, but also placed by entities coming through ancestry. Entities will often splice in miasms or portals energy through your ancestry. So if you're not properly shielded and you don't have your energy protected, you can become essentially an open source for any individual or any entity that wants to target your energy field. So this is what happened with your ancestry. They came in, usually they'll use a weakness or some type of opening. Fear is a big opening. Um, they'll use our compassion and love against us sometimes, which is important to just have a shield so that you're freely able to give and receive love, but you don't have to worry about being taken advantage of. That's where having standing in your sovereignty is amazing because you can see the snakes from a mile away and what their manipulation and control tactics are and not fall for them. Because we have giving hearts, we're empaths, we, we love to give and help, but often we become a target for dark forces because of that. So why is this here? This is, okay, it's the ancestral connection. I need to shut that down, release the entities or remove them that are infiltrating your ancestral lines. This is something I'm going to do for the collective right now for anything that I can access. I've been getting a lot of visions lately of when I return entities or dark energies back to source. I will see them essentially like burn in this refining fire and then something emerges from the ashes. I just, I don't want to tell you because it's scary sounding, but it was a dark phoenix. I've been seeing a lot of ominous signs rising, but I don't, I feel like it's more of a warning to the dark forces that are still trying to operate on earth, not those who are working for the lighter have chosen the light. And that's what it feels like in this case. I'm going to just watch what this phoenix does to make sure there's no, because it's not anything to be concerned about. But I, it's interesting to just sit with these visions, and I usually don't have time to sit with them for very long because I'm very busy. But it, I could sit in a vision state all day. It looks like it's sitting there as a reminder, like you would put a trophy up on your shelf to remember it's like it feels like a remembrance and kind of a warning to the dark forces like you want to turn into a stone um phoenix that's gonna be like you're gonna lose your vitality and become turned to stone there will be nothing you're gonna be able to do is this the path you want to go down and they don't so there's nothing like no harm in this being here so interesting <laughs> 